My name is Chris Ippolito. I teach digital media design at Ocean Township High School. This week we're learning uh, how to make dragsters out of LEGO EV3 robotics kits. I thought I'd show you the one that I built uh, as a model for my students. Uh, part of the task for my students this week was to learn about gear ratio and how that equates to speed. They also had to learn about uh, how to create something that's lightweight and has some rigidity and stability and also is uh, maneuverable. I'll start here. This is uh, what the front end of my vehicle ended up looking like. Keep in mind this is the third iteration of a dragster for me. So it took me a few builds to get really the performance that I wanted. I started with uh, the Omni wheel, which is the uh, pinball type uh, wheel that comes with the LEGO EV3 kits, but I found it didn't have enough maneuverability or control. Uh, so I put these wheels on the front for the front end and I found that the tires were providing too much friction. So I took the tires off and left the hubs and found that that was the right mix for me. I also experimented quite a bit with the build itself to get the right weight uh, of the vehicle. I try to use as few elements, few, as few beams, Technic beams, to create this as possible to keep the weight down because these large motors in the back are only so strong. But really what turned out to be very effective and, and what was the lesson for my students is leveraging gear ratio. As you can see here, on the drive, on the motor itself, I have a large 40 tooth gear. That's the light gray one. It is attached to a driven gear, which is the small eight tooth gear which is attached to the tire, right? That's the driven axle. So with that kind of combination, it's geared for speed, right? It's geared one rotation of that 40 tooth gear equates to five rotations on the eight tooth gear. So that's a gearing for speed. The trade-off is torque, right? So it's hard to get these things off the starting line if they're too heavy. And that was kind of the lesson here. Um, the other thing that students had to take into consideration was the orientation of the motors. These motors are facing backwards. They're facing backwards because they're geared, right, in such a way that the drive, the driven gear is spinning forward and meshed gears spin in opposite directions. So therefore, the drive gear had to be oriented facing or rotating clockwise while the driven gear is rotating counterclockwise, in this case, forward. Hopefully that's clear. Sorry if I didn't do such a good job of explaining that. But anyway, it works pretty well. So how it worked was I had my students um, build theirs and you know iteratively you know improve upon it, and then uh, once they bracketed uh, you know drag races down the hallway, which we had a lot of fun with, I let them square off against this one, which they were unable to beat. But that's that's you know they they did a great job, and I think that's how this should work. I think you should model a build, bring your expertise to the table, show them that you failed multiple times, and then you came out with something that works, uh, and I'll show you it in action. So oh, this is my uh, helpful assistant, Thomas. Thomas, what are we doing right now? Trying to pair the phone with the bot to control it. Okay. So we're using the smartphone app for the EV3 Dragster. Thomas, can I see that screen for the controls? So it's hard to see, but there's uh, the two sliders, the vertical sliders that control left and right motors on the Dragster. So the Dragster's been geared for speed, and let's see what Thomas can do with this thing. Nice style points coming back. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Yeah. 